Today we are exploring a really creepy place with on the same site an abandoned and partly burned brothel and an aesthetic chirurgy clinic abandoned after some scary events. Follow me as I explore this place and tell you more about its story. The first building that we are entering is called the Sauna Club, but this is just a name for a brothel which are legal in Germany. Part of the place looks like a spa, with a swimming pool, a sauna and similar facilities. The other part includes a living room with a bar and some sofa, and also bedrooms, where customers could spend time with the ladies working there. In this place, that part was upstairs and disappeared when the house burned in 2019 so we will only be able to explore the part with the spa facilities. Technically, the place was a partial club, which means flat rate brothel. Customers paid a fixed price and were able to spend time with the ladies in some sort of eat as much as you can formula. Whatever you may think about prostitution, this type of formula is clearly unfair for the ladies working there. Hence, Germany made a law in 2014 making flat right places forbidden. This likely led to the closure of the place we visit today, which became a known lost place before being burnt. The building was initially part of the aesthetic clinic, so keep watching because I will say more about this later.
So, why do we have a sauna club and a clinic on the same site, with some walkways allowing to go from one to the other? Was the aesthetic clinic working hand in hand with the sauna club, offering its services to the ladies working there? Of course not. This is just that, following some serious misdoings, the clinic had to close its doors around the year 2000. Then, one way or another, the part we just visited was rented or sold to the sauna club, which opened there in 2008. What sort of misdoings led to the clinic closing its doors? Keep watching, as I will explain that soon, but this is quite an ugly story. So, why did the clinic close its doors? Actually, the doctor who owned the clinic and was practicing aesthetic surgery there did some really lousy job, which led to the death of a patient in 1997. Some time after this, the doctor's license was suspended, but he continued practicing, which led to another operation going wrong in 2000, threatening the patient's life, with the patient needing to be put into an artificial coma. Fortunately, the patient was able to recover. This happened as the doctor didn't have a license anymore and didn't have an insurance anymore. This was eventually the end of the clinic. The place was closed, the valuable equipment was sold to pay for the debts, the doctor went to prison, and, hopefully, nobody will risk one's life again in this ugly place. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.